Hello everyone, today uh, we start a new series of our build reports and first of all I would like to thank you for the support and the comments and the likes and the shares uh, with previous Spitfire reports. Uh, I hope you liked it and now we are getting ready the article and also the short movie that's a small hint for you. Uh, I hope it will be published soon, it will be online available on our website. But for now I am sharing with you, as I said, the first video of the new build project. So the new build project doesn't fly and it's actually also a quite fresh kit and it comes from Ukrainian company Miniard. Here it is. As you can see it's SU-122 which is molded in 135 scale. And this particular version is interior kit, so you can guess that there is a detailed interior inside, uh, which should be nice to show on the assembled model. So on the assembly manual, which I'm showing you at the moment, here you can see it, uh, there are 729 plastic parts, 95 footage parts and 4 clear plastic parts. So it's quite detailed kit and I hope you've seen our review article on our website and also review video but we start uh, the building project here so what I want to show you today is the first let's say step which will be the heart of the famous Su-122. This is the engine and as you can see, I assembled it together with uh, exhausts, together with radiators and together with uh, radiator support. And it's quite detailed, I would say. As you can see here, we have a lot of parts and it should be really nice to weather, but I decided to uh, keep it like this, like you see now at the moment. And just give me a second, I'll turn it so that you can see it here and now we can also move the light so here you can see the front part of the engine uh, what I want to say about this engine uh, of course uh, it's quite detailed as you can see so it might require some attention and time from you because otherwise you will get a let's say quite set result and of course um, it's a bit tricky to assemble. I mean, it's not difficult to assemble, but you have to pay attention to some tiny things which connect here and there. For example, radiators. Uh, they have quite specific assembly scheme. And I would recommend uh, to assemble them a bit different from the assembly manual because I, I followed the assembly manual. And it was quite difficult to attach top and bottom covers with green parts. And it should be much easier when you use one of the covers as a support of, for the brackets of the radiator and then just glue them together. I mean, you'll see it, but for me, I see it as a easier way. And next, we all heard about the famous myth about, um, let's say, very... Uh, breakable, very tender plastic in the mini art kit. This model is not the instance and inside you find quite sturdy plastic which is easy to weather, easy to cut and easy to sew. But again, uh, I mean you should expect it from the tiny parts like for example this one. It's easy to break it because it's very thin and it's very, um, uh, let's say, tender. So be careful, I mean, this feature can be uh, seen in every kit, I mean, in every detailed kit, so it's nothing special, it's nothing bad, and it can be expected from such small part. Another interesting thing, I mean, uh, as I said before, this is interior kit, and MiniArt also announced the um, simple version without interior. I wouldn't recommend, I mean, if you want to have a simple and fast build, then you might buy a kit without interior. But I would recommend to check the kit with interior because it was the main idea of this kit. 
And it's the main beauty of this kit actually. So, and you might guess some interesting way how to show it. Uh, another nice thing is detailing. I mean, detailing is nice not only on the engine, but here, for example, you can see the core fan and it's assembled out of several parts. I'm not, uh, I haven't weathered it yet, but as you can see, the detailing is excellent. I mean, it's crazy. And it's still 35 scale. Uh, also, it's nice that you can assemble, let's say, separate sub-assemblies. For example, here you can see the support of the transmission. And here is another one. You can assemble them separately and then just combine all together at once. And then you will have a nice uh, kit. Uh, also, in the next part we will face this. As you can see, um, you have to wrap the P part over the circle plastic part. But that's not the main challenge. Main challenge is to bend those parts into the also circular parts, uh, circle elements. So you will see uh, how to, how we will deal with it. And also the last thing I want to mention is about those radiator covers. Be careful with their placement. I mean, I've mixed them and it was impossible to assemble the engine because some tubings should be installed precisely on the spot. So be careful, pay attention, and then you'll get a nice result. So that's all for this short video report. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, so that's the first report. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comments section below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you will help us greatly and you will get all our videos on time. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow or in the next video review. Bye.